come to my office actually which is an extension of my workshop and I will also be using flash cloud for my flash forge 3d printer my particular model is the adventurer 3 and I do recommend that model to anybody who's in the market for a 3d printer and it's very true what they say you get what you pay for you're going to spend $200 for a 3D printer, you're not going to get much. <laughs> They'll work for a while. But um, you know, I, I required an enclosed uh, unit and living in Australia with the, you know, it gets pretty warm here. And um, this one seems to cope with the heat very well. Uh, because it's enclosed, I suppose, and uh, it's a, a solid structure and it's quite a bit of metal in it as well. So that's the one I would recommend. To all you younger viewers out there, um, I will remind you, if you go along to the Autodesk download pages, Fusion 360 that you see me use is free for hobbyists. So you can download it and you can use it for free. So I hope you like the video today, so we'll get on.
my little flash forge has printed it and uh, it's actually got a it printed it on a carbon fiber um, table as well that's removable and uh, you know if you're in the market for a 3d printer you really you you couldn't go past uh, the, the the flash forge now this particular model is the adventurer 3 it's cloud based the programs are cloud based and look I haven't had a moment's problem with it and I printed quite a lot so um, there's a bit of a recommendation for you so I hope you've enjoyed the video today and uh, please press like and subscribe to my channel and at this point I would like to say thank you to my patrons without the patrons behind this channel uh, this channel wouldn't exist as it does today and if you would like to become a patron please go along to my patron pages and I would be very grateful. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today and all I've got to do now is say bye for now until the next video. Bye.